Cha-Cha Charlie can't dance. Wow, that is correct. You stole something that doesn't belong to you, and that's my Cha-Cha hat. Mama Charlie, Cha-Cha Charlie's mom, duh. I taught Cha-Cha Charlie all of his moves. You know, I've recently realized I've been a real asshole to Cha-Cha Charlie over the past few months, and I'm feeling pretty guilty about it. So instead of promoting our upcoming match at Bash at the Brew 9 on October 2nd with some more slander, I've decided I want to do something nice for a change. On September 8th, Cha Cha Charlie made this disgruntled post about not being included on this year's PWI 500. So I flew out to an undisclosed location and scored an interview with the chairman of the PWI 500 himself to discuss why everyone's favorite dancing wrestler wasn't included on this year's PWI 500. Check it out. Down, da -da, da -da. Mark, I really appreciate you carving out some time in your very busy schedule. I know you were playing a very intense game of SmackDown vs. Raw before I got in here, so I appreciate your time. No problem, dude. You want to play? I can get you a controller. Ma, give me a controller. I finally got company. It's fine, bro. Honestly, I'm here for one thing. I'm trying to find out why Cha-Cha Charlie was not included on this year's PWI 500. According to a recent post he made, he said, and I quote, He's had 70 matches just in 2021. He's put more asses in seats than any indie wrestler. And he puts on a top-notch performance that gets them out of said seats. Mark, how is this guy not number one? To be honest, man, we see a lot of wrestlers, so I don't remember Cha-Cha Charlie. But let me take a look at my notebook, see if I have anything on him. C, C, C. Ha! <laughs> here it is. I wrote it on an Arby's napkin. It says here because he fucking sucks. That's it? Yes, that's that's it. Well, thank you for your time, Mark.